The gray wolf used to be the most widely distributed predator on the planet. Their range has diminished over the years, of course, but there are very few places that it can't live in. The only places it really avoids are tropical jungle and deserts. So if it doesn't fall into one of those two categories, you could find gray wolves there. And the gray wolf is a pack hunter. Lone wolves are also common, but generally speaking, they live in packs and they can be anywhere from three to four wolves to 20 to 30. And their territory can be anywhere from 20 square miles to a thousand square miles. It just depends on how much prey there is available in their territory. And gray wolves are very intelligent and they can vary their hunting strategies. For example, one strategy they use is a gray wolf will go out in full view of some grazing animals that they're about to prey upon and the wolf will just lie down much like this and just kind of make eye contact with the animals and the grazing animals like look up and they see the gray wolf and they all murmur what's going on why is he just sitting there and they just watch him and then all the other wolves in the pack circle around behind and make their move so it's a very effective strategy. And the wolf pack targets old or young or sick animals in the herd because they're just easier to overcome. And the wolf can sprint at about 36 miles an hour, which is really fast, but they can't sustain that for a long period of time. So what they're more apt to do is they'll kind of jog down their prey at about four to six miles an hour. And they can sustain that pace for about 18 miles. So an animal that's fleeing from them will eventually tire by that time and then the wolf pack can overtake them. And there is a very specific hierarchy within the wolf pack. Everyone kind of knows their place in the social order. At the top you have the alpha pair, the male and the female. They're the only ones that breed. And then you have a few other related wolves somewhere below them. And everyone knows their place within the social order. but everyone can change their place in the hierarchy. For example, if one of the wolves at the top becomes old or injured or sick, or one of the younger wolves, their breeding status changes, any number of things. They form small alliances for a little while. All of these things can affect your order within the group. And the more uh, courageous you are, the stronger you are, the faster, the more intelligent, all of these things kind of determine where you fall in line with the other wolves. And wolves look after each other very well. When the alpha female gives birth, all the other wolves bring her food while she's nursing. And then once the pups have been weaned off of their mother's milk, the pack brings them food as well. And there's an example from the Chicago Zoo some years ago. There was a wolf that was so crippled by arthritis that it couldn't move. And the other members of the pack brought it food. So they really take care of each other. It's very family oriented. And their senses are very acute. Their sense of smell, for example, is about 100 times better than ours. And their hearing is about 20 times better. So they have a lot of tools to track down their prey. And that is the gray wolf, a very family-oriented and skilled hunter.